Ooh. Steal everything. Kill Lady Ashbury and take everything. Wherever she is. Where's my diary? Wait a second. 1914. Her mother. Wait. Oh, she has a daughter. Charlotte Ashbury. From the normal life. It's still in this time, so maybe she'll. And we got a hint, so she should be around somewhere. Dracula. See the inspiring lady of spirit. Her darkness is in life, and these are lights. And you are one of the lights. The light of all lights. Ram Stoker. For August 1897. Locked. It's the original Dracula from the original Bram Stoker. Stoker? Stoker? There, oh. bag. Go oh. bag. Go to the left of yours. No, stay. Here. It's locked, all right. And, uh, so anyway, it's the original author of the of Dracula. So it's a good um, Easter egg. Isn't that us? Mhm. Mm uh huh. Blood Night Tragedy. Wanna read it? No. So, her daughter left the house. Hello again, Jonathan. Or her sister? To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Sorry to disturb you again, but could you spare me a few minutes? Of course, my dear. Always a pleasure to speak with you. No, she has a sexy Do you think we shall like ever see better phone? days? Or at least better nights? I know not, Jonathan. Go to her and talk to him already about the future. So, our future. Experience has taught me that one cannot outrun the fates. <laughs> Weekly. When all of this is over, the war and the epidemic, we could leave the city for a while. Travel around Europe, you and I. Traveling is always so complicated for us poor creatures of the night. But yes. I would be glad to travel the world with you, my dear. Will you tell me your story one day, Lady Ashbury? One of them, perhaps. I have had so many lives, Jonathan. Eternity may not be enough to relate them all. It was like the vampires can't have children, right? Mm -hmm. So it was before. Concerning your investigation, so she can be yes. vampires are you truly seeking to hmm? identify my maker? So she, I cannot if her daughter is still yes. living, she can't be so I am conducting some vampire. research of my own. Do you know if the epidemic has affected many people in the West End? I confess I've been more concerned by events in the East End. The wealthy have more efficient ways of dealing with infection. But this is no common epidemic. That is true. I must tell my daughter to stay at home for a few days. But the girl is stubborn and fiercely independent. Much like her mother. Goodbye. Huh? So she was like, yeah, yeah, I have a daughter, no problem. I hope you don't mind. I'm pretty sure her daughter just ran away. Hmm. One scene. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. Ooh. Mm. Right here we go. Didn't see that. Why you run away? They weren't that. Quarantine. Let me in, bitches. 
It's locked. Seriously? Don't tell me. Why are we already here? You have his head up there. Simply ignore him, he went away. But he's on our way. Eat? Oh, good trigger part. That's I guess it didn't take everything. Yeah, I took what he left. Hey there. Oh god, not again. To end. Oh, Reed's Ranch. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Safe bar? Hmm. Doesn't look like. Oh, if we're now in the safe bar. Um, but as you see, we Seriously, he, he hits me five times at just one millimeter of damage. Last time he hits me <laughs> half of my health. Souls. Mm. That you have to go somewhere first to unlock it from the other side.
now we're in the safe part. The Ascalon Club. Huh? The heart of British Vampire Society. Not quite as subtle as I expected. Is she black? Mm -hmm. Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. So maybe Please, in Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. Tell me about your adoption. Uh. What do you want to know? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion, but I have my own house now. I have a life to live, you see. So she's One older. One day, I'll have my death to face. It's like, you know, what happens when rich people are living too long and bored? They adopt kids. How did you mm -hmm. meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. Huh? When I was ten, she adopted me, and I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. And no, I, I had no it. idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned six. You're adopted, and I'm a vampire. I suspected the truth for a long time before that. What do you think about this part of town? I was raised here, and I suppose Interesting, you have like a mother, she appears you only in the night, and there's nothing too, suspicious to you for six fucking years of life. She knew it before, she said it a second ago. Yeah, that she yes, had a suspicion. A yes, but still. A small world, is it not? Did you Normal ever children that start that asking questions. That time? <laughs> that you could have met her in a dark alley at night. You won't trick me twice, young lady. We both know Lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. Her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, She was thinking <laughs> about that while masturbating. Is something that's bothering you? Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true. May I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich. I suppose you're right. It's the same but society like must mother. reform it's and like renew itself or we are all done for. Is it? I don't know. Might be. Mm -hmm. Do you need my medical attention, Charlotte? I am fine, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Charlotte. Oh. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Again. Good. And what? I okay. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night. Considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? At least they can vote now. Are you a suffragette? Then? Oh, you really are, Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me. Miss Charlotte, I have shared your opinion for a long time, even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh, now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. If a man senses the pussy, he's like, yeah, of course I like beacons. Of course I'm fighting for women's rights. Now sleep with me. How are the locals reacting to your claims? That's People exactly the proof there. For a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. 
That's how progressive hey, they are. They need a trump. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, is young lady. And who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. I guess Let it's a guess. lady which is dead. You spoke yes. to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning, I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that Quest would be top-notch. I can tell you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. And please, don't tell my mother. What exactly has She's your so mother Chloe. told you? Please don't tell my Your name and profession, obviously. Okay, Chloe wouldn't say please. about your maker. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. No, I Must see I be wary of her, Dr. Mm -hmm. Reed? Or you? But and I don't know what she was asking. Maybe. I don't know what she was asking. Perhaps it's wise for a mortal never to totally trust a vampire. Your mother herself told me that we Akon are creatures of deception. Maybe it's because we seem so alive. That may be true for a naive girl, but I have the best teacher when it comes to getting rid of an insistent immortal. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. Mm -hmm. She's trying to open them up. Your mother has refused to turn you <coughs> into a vampire. Tell no, me she more wanted to be one, and that's why Each she ran away. Each time we argue, mother expresses the same fear. She wants me to remain alive and full of joy, rather than become melancholy and immortal. She claims you can't have one without the other. It's pure selfishness. It's your mother's choice. As daughters and sons, we have to accept the decisions our parents make for us, despite our own wishes. I love my mother, and have accepted everything from her. Even that she named me Charlotte, when it was not my original. Ooh. Does it bother you? No. Whoever I was when I was born, I am now Charlotte Ashbury. It hurts as much as it makes me proud to know that's the name my mother will read on my tombstone. Your mother has walked this earth for much longer than you or I. She is wise, and we should not ignore her advice when we disagree with it. But why shouldn't I be allowed to forge my own experience? There can't be only one righteous way to deal with eternity. Besides, you're always taking wrong Do you know why first. Lady Ashbury chose be you to become her daughter? No, I it's don't. Not always an Each order. time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret that she chose you? Of course not. Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. If so, where are they buried? How was it for them Ooh. to pass through life with a never-aging mother? I was hoping that we now would have a clue to talk about. Her mom and maybe she had other children. Why do you still hope to become a vampire in spite of your mother's refusal? It's the immortal aspect of vampires that interests me. The world won't improve unless women take charge. I'm convinced of that. You're obviously a clever woman with a good no, education okay, and a brilliant future. But have you thought about the price you'd have to pay? The loneliness? The necessary masquerade? Is it not true of every high position? To change this world and make it a better place, one needs time on one's side. Tell me, Charlotte, how do you plan to achieve eternal life, since you've obviously given it a lot of thought? I won't give up. You have no idea how determined I am, sir. I may contract a deadly disease. I may throw myself under a carriage just to be saved by her sweet kiss. That's a disturbing answer, young lady. And the worst part of it is, I know you speak the truth. There are less dangerous ways, Doctor. Instead of throwing myself under a horse like Emily Davison, 
I could just throw myself into your arms. Be careful, Stoplin. Be careful what you wish for, young lady. I could gaze at you right now and then take you to a shady corner and have my way with you. And leave your carcass to the rats. You... you wouldn't dare. My mother would know. Oh god, no, I She'd wish to be evil. You. How could she hmm? suspect me? Just mesmerize her, take it to a dark corner, eat her, and shoot them. Vampires with a worse sense of humor than mine. Oh my god. For one second I thought you actually... Excellent, Dr. Reed. Very convincing. Yeah, Goodbye, Charlotte. Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. 